Good evening, everyone. This is Ashley the farmer on an absolutely gorgeous Sunday evening. It's a little after six o'clock and I am taking my video from the vantage point of my favorite big rock. I spent a lot of time here near this rock, myself alone, with my children when they were younger and now with their, grand, their children, our grandchildren. And I have a, a particularly wonderful friend who was asked to see this rock more in action. Well, it sits here, but it looks out over just an amazing field now, filled with all kinds of amazing crops. And the collards on the left, to red kale, to green kale, to dinosaur kale, and finally three kinds of Swiss chard. Tonight I thought I'd show you a little bit more of our farm and what it is about us and why we're here. Over here is where our grandchildren play. This is the pool that has to be put back up again. It got knocked down in a major storm. And some more of the play area for the kids. One of the most wonderful parts about this is that you see that the play area in our yard, and I just cut the yard so I hope it looks halfway decent. This yard and the play area for the kids is right near where we farm. We're talking 50 feet. Unlike conventional farms, which spray as many as 150 to 200 actual nervine agents upon their crops, fungicides, insecticides, pesticides, we only use products that are approved for organic production, and those products are able to be sprayed even on the day of harvest. No deleterious effects upon fish or wildlife, and especially not on children or grandchildren. Right now, there's a beautiful singing behind me of a lot of birds. As I quietly pan, I want to tell you a little bit about the story of Heaven's Harvest Farm. Back in 1993, I was traveling and was just thinking and praying about what it would be like to get back into farming as we had a little farm back in the 1970s when we first got married. And I didn't know much of anything, but I did have farming in my background. My uncle Jesse was a dairy farmer in Cortland, New York. He farmed 400 acres and had several hundred cows. And when I came home from Guam as a young boy, I stayed at my uncle's farm in Cortland, New York. And I just fell in love with the smell of the barn and the hay and the, the feed and the animals. And it was just so remarkable to me how much it felt like it was real and alive. And here all these years later, in 1993, when I was, how many years ago was that? 25 years ago, I was 41 years of age. And I saw this property, stopped by, it was in a horrific shape. The house couldn't be lived in, there were animals living in it. You could enter the house and go anywhere you wanted to. No functional bathroom, no electricity basically. The plumbing was outdated and the heating system was an old cast iron boiler with steam that had all kinds of asbestos all over it. So we got involved in finding out who it was and owning it, and it was the United States Department of Agriculture. And so we made an application and we were accepted. And lo and behold, here came our dream. Now in this field that is right behind the house, these crops are just about ready at the end of this week to go to Whole Foods. We have 15 Whole Foods stores that we service all over eastern and central Massachusetts and north um, East and Central Connecticut, all the way down to Hartford and Glastonbury, and all the way up to Charlestown, right near Boston, and all the way up to Swampscott, which is very close to Cape Ann. I'm doing this video because I want you all to see what the result is of the hard work of all the people who work here. And I'm very, very grateful. I'm going to have some of these greens tomorrow myself in a smoothie sometime in the morning and then begin the process of once more inviting more members to our CSA. We really need your help in pushing and allowing people to know this message. This farm grows organically, sustainably, with great care and family pride so that we might provide for this generation and many future generations that which will nourish their bodies, delight their souls, and encourage them as a community to do that which is best for themselves which is to be connected. We love the people who work here. We love our family. We love our friends. 
I love my cat, Ziggy, who often sits on this rock, Zing, I should say, and Zing is Kitty Cat 33. Someone very special to our whole family, but especially to me. And this is that rock, looking out over this field with all this beauty. Looking forward to the harvest, to the season, to that which the summer will bring, and to all the things that we have envisioned that this place would be. I could never have known in 1993 when this field, which was just covered with brambles, sticks, branches, down trees, huge rocks like this huge rock, which was taken right out of this field and laid here upon this other rock by my son Joshua. So now we are Heaven's Harvest Farm, farming almost 100 acres, 60 of which we own and another 40 that we rent from dear friends really close to us who all believe in our message and want to see this continue for posterity's sake. I know I've spoken a long time tonight, but I just wanted to let you know that this did not become this without 25 years. This is our anniversary this year of incredible hard work by many and a vision that the good Lord gave to me that this would be a place and we should call it Heaven's Harvest Farm. To each one of you who care, we send along our best. To those who view this, we ask you to pass along the message. And for those of you who will be blessed by the food that we grow here, may you know that it is a gift from our family and the good Lord to you and yours. Bless to all of you. God bless you. This is Ashley the Farmer signing out from the Big Rock to share with all of you and those who are here virtually and may never see it in person. This is the place by which we see this goodness, this land, this pleasure. Thank you all. Take care. Ashley the Farmer signing out. Good night.